Hey y'all, thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, I'm out here on the Blue Ridge Parkway and I went about as far as I could go. I'm trying out uh, some cold weather gear. So it is about 28 degrees. Um, I am hiking the MST, which is the mountain to sea trail that cuts across North Carolina, basically from the Atlantic Ocean back to the Appalachian Mountains here. Uh, it's about six to eight inches of snowpack. And so far, the uh, micro spikes have held up quite well. I intentionally been walking over some icy rocks to see how they would do. And so far, so good. The shield of skin socks are working as well. Uh, although my feet are a little cold and I wish I would have had on a pair of Njinji socks underneath them. So lesson learned. So yeah, we'll see what happens. winter day here in the mountains of Carolina. It is cold, but it is beautiful. I failed to mention that I'm using this Patagonia R1 hoodie, which is uh, keeping me very warm. And I cannot complain about that either as far as my winter gear goes. So I'm very pleased with that piece of the kit. So uh, I'm back at the truck and I um, want to go over the uh, cold weather gear that I was trying out today. I was just using uh, some old Nike fleece gloves that I've been using for years and actually they work pretty well. They are not waterproof. Uh, so I'm uh, debating on whether carrying some mitts to put over those. And then um, I use the um, Brooks Cascadia hiking shoes. I'm a firm believer in those. I've been using them for many years. And what I was trying out today are the Exo Spikes uh, made by Catula. And they fit very well. They just uh, basically strap, stretch out like this and strap around your shoe. And then they have a set of... Um, spikes on the front as well as back on the on the heel and they did really really well i intentionally walked over some icy rocks as well as just some 
big drifts like over a foot deep of snow just to see what they would do and they held up really really well i also was using the seal skins um, socks that i talked about earlier uh, they are waterproof and um, of course it was only 28 degrees today but when i got back i actually walked around the parking lot here where there was some um, melted water and um, they are very dry uh, they didn't keep my feet as warm as i thought I'll probably use some uh, liners or injigis uh, if I do this again. And then the last uh, thing is this uh, Patagonia R1 hoodie. I really like it. It zips all the way down. It has uh, two pockets here on the front, but it kept me really warm. Um, I do have a couple layers underneath, but... I think it will work and do the trick on the Appalachian Trail. I don't know that it'll be this cold when I start February twi uh, 26 on the uh, AT, but um, it can still get pretty cold in Appalachia, as we well know. And um, anyway, that's kind of my uh, cold weather gear. I hope you like and subscribe, and I'll do a full uh, gear review in a few weeks before I go hit the trail. So thanks again for everybody, and we'll see you later.